right. I got the Glock 45 appendix. I love appendix carry. Feel very comfortable. This one right here, you can see a little bit right here of it, but what I learned, you know, I've been concealed carrying for almost two years now in, in my state. Um, now what, what I learned is that uh, you are more subconscious of it. People are really not looking at you, but you know that you have it, so you feel subconscious. But after a while, you start feeling more and more comfortable. The key is to cover yourself up. Don't have it sticking out. Wear loose clothing. This feels very, very comfortable. I like it a lot. I'm gonna rock this a little bit. See how far, see how much I do like it. I love the, the appendix carry. You know, I like to have a sidecar, to have an extra mag. Tier one holster is my favorite, favorite, favorite holsters. I really like it a lot. But I'm gonna compare it to the Glock 19. As you see the Glock 19 right here, it conceals a little better. Like I said, a half, about a half an inch. It just don't feel comfortable in my hand. So I'd rather trade a little concealment for comfortability. Because right here I have a good grip. But like I said, if I'm shooting, especially in the range, just my, my pinky start getting chewed up. And I really don't like it. But like I said, um, I still like the Glock 19, but the Glock 45 is basically best of both worlds. Now this is the Glock 45 again. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much conceal with this bad boy. I'm gonna wear this a little bit. Like I said, it feels great on my hand. The, the reliability of Glock is unquestioned. I feel a lot more comfortable now because I lost about 70 pounds over the last two years when I first started when I first started concealed carrying. And now is is a breeze. Driving is no problem. Before I was able to drive, sit, everything, just that I knew it was there. Like it was just pushing against me. And I like the feeling when I carry appendix that is pushing against me that I because I know that I have the firearm on me. You know, if I carry it on my side, I have I found myself checking every so often on my side to make sure it's still there. Cause you feel the host to be on if the you don't know if the firearm's there, but you know that if it's in the front, anything you're not gonna drop it, or at least you, if you do drop it, you're gonna know right away. It's not if you sit down, you're not gonna leave it where you like in the seat, go to the you go somewhere to eat. Of course, no alcohol in there in that particular establishment. But you go somewhere to eat, you sit in the booth, you have it on the side, there's a chance that it can squeeze out and leave it there. You walk away and leave the gun behind. Appendix, you know it's with you at all, all times. That's why I'm an advocate for appendix carry. And, you know, when you're bigger, your stomach gets in the way. Like mine got in the way, but I was still able to do it, but it, it felt a little uncomfortable, but I dealt with it. But once you lose weight, huh. It's concealed carry is easy, you know. So, if you're having any trouble with concealed carry, either put it on your side and you know, just deal with you know, dealing with it that is there that you have to be very conscious of it, or lose a little bit of weight, you know, lose a little bit of that gut. You can live a little longer, also. And you never know, you can still carry it, you may have to run. So, you don't want to be in a situation that you're not running. So, you know, you might have to run for cover, you might have to run and take some type of evasive action kind of hard to do that when you're when you're out of shape so get in shape it's not too difficult and that's it all right thanks for watching i'll check you on the next video peace